Hi guys, welcome to my Scotch's channel. This is Robin. Ah, sorry about that. Get yourself something good to drink. Let's sit back and relax. Uh, we're going to finish up this Jewelry Jar 2 248. Um, it's been a mixture of uh, ju jewelry bags from Goodwill and from out of state Goodwills and Shop Goodwill orders and um, blue boxes. So this is the last, and this is the last of it. We have earrings and a few pieces here to show you. Uh, this is that Michael Golan piece I showed you. They are a jewelry maker in New York on 45th Street. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. And we have these box pieces. And we have a bag of earrings to go through. So that will be it. So let's start out with these box pieces. This is an Ellen Tracy with the earrings and the necklace. I have not taken them out of the box. And uh, they will come with their box, which is in pretty good shape. And we'll do this one for 10. Very pretty, pretty red. We have some star red, white, and blue handmade in the USA earrings they are wire earrings yes I can show you the backs there this box is in very good shape too and we're gonna do these for five and don't forget we got Christmas coming up so buy it for the little star in your family and speaking of Christmas in July, we've got this beautiful Anne Klein pen, snow boots, with the, uh, look at the little butterfly on that, the flowers and the leaves. I love this. And it's going to come in its box. There's, the inside's got a few little spots. Here's the outside of the box. And we will do that one for uh, $10. And then last of all, we have the Hamza piece. Shield from harm is what it's. Rachel Roy. I have not looked this up. There is no price on the back. We'll do this for 10 And that's those. Now this... If you go look this channel up, they do use real stone. And in this case, I believe they're, they've they used uh, brass and copper. Copper chain, brass findings. Again, it's marked there. Their necklaces run anywhere from 50 to $150, depending on if you catch it on sale or not. This is a very nice piece. Oh, and there's 24 karat gold in with this brass. So that's why it's such a beautiful color. So we will do this one for uh, $30. It's very pretty. Michael, M-I-C-H-A-L. Golan, G-O-L-A-N, that is her husband. It was a young lady who started um, selling jewelry in her 20s to pay for her art college degree. And um, then she married, and her and her husband worked out of their garage. And then they were able to move into a studio down in New York City. I think it's either on 45th or 44th Street. And it was just the two of them. And then today it's over 20 employees. It's all made in the USA. Beautiful uh, craftsmanship. This is, you can see how nicely made this is. And that's also signed too. So we'll do that one for $30. Okay. And then I had this. Glass piece, I think I've shown it before. I can't remember. I think I had it marked $8. It's on this very, this is cold. So I don't know if these are stone or glass. 
lobster claw clasp. It's a very pretty one. And instead of doing it for eight, I'm going to do it for five. And then I have this tiny little necklace here, a very uh, minimalist type with a little stone on the end. And let me loop it. And let me turn on some lights here. Woo! Shame on me. That's how unprepared I was. Daryl just left to go do a little bit of grocery shopping. Then he wants me to go out with him. So I wanted to get a video done before we did all that. Because I know when I get back, I probably won't want to. I'm going to test the stone. I don't see any marks. I'm looking at the uh, class now. And I don't see any marks on it. But the stone is just so pretty. It's a beautiful CZ if it's not a diamond. So let's see. Very well cut. It's not even moving. Let me try test my diamond and make sure this thing is working oh yeah it's working <laughs> okay it, it moved it is a um, little CC piece yeah, I guess it was warming up again there's your makes it look real because it's tiny okay and I like the beaded silver thing um, design of this chain. And we'll do this one for three. Very cute. All right, that's those. Y'all want to do some earrings? Because I got to. It's the end of the box. And wait a minute, I got some Hobby Lot stuff to show too. I forgot to bring my bin to put my stuff in. Okay, uh, let's do the Hobby Lot. Where is it? Where'd it go? Here it is. This is going in Carmen's bag. Is it Carmen, this may be silver. I don't know. I haven't tested it, but I'm putting it in there. And you've got this piece missing stone but you may be able to use these and other these need backs and cleaning this was a little watch cover it almost looked like a uh, origami oh yeah it goes like that but it doesn't have its glass we have this piece that is a bracelet not sure why it's in there. Oh, because it's missing one stone right there. Very cute. It's got some other stuff on it. Let me get that off. That's a marble. Um, a little hair clip. I don't know what kind of crafting you do with this, so I'm putting every kind of stuff in. You may want to throw it away you may want to keep it this is uh, a partial of a barrette I think or either just the maybe just the parts gone I'm not sure got beautiful stones in it I'm not saying this is the end of your bag either we have some chain here and we have some shell chip here with some findings, good findings. I don't know what this is exactly. There's an end cap. That is not magnetic. I don't know. I don't think it is silver. This is a piece of Laramar here that came out. A little egg 
earring, but this one doesn't have a back. A nice little dangle you can add as an extender. Or making spine jewelry. I don't know what these are. Yes, I put everything in these hobby lots. I don't prejudge anything because I don't know what y'all are using it for. And I look at some of these and I would be using it on my junk journals and things. Making spine jewelry. Um, fixing other pieces. Redesigning pieces. Those are rings. This one just needs to be reshaped and it's got a little stone there. I think that's silver over copper with this one. It is not magnetic. A piece of tiger eye. Usually I keep these. I have a bucket of, I mean, little bowls of stones because my grandson likes to go through them. There's that. That's a cage. You can put a stone in here and make it into a pendant. Another little piece of shell, another tiny little. Now here, you have this, and then you have these pieces here. This is an extender, a very nice gold tone one. Here's a silver tone one, and then there's just this chain. There's these, this, and this says fossil. So, you can almost get the idea of how you do a, a, ch a charm for a book, a spine, and a dice. That's an old die. It's kind of cool. So, anyway, that's that. See, that didn't even halfway fill up your bag. So, like I said, you've got more coming. I didn't show you this piece. It almost looks like alpaca. That's blue, blue inlay and some pink and then abalone shell. And there's the back. I'm going to test it. it. Looks silvery. Let's see. May not be though. I don't want to get y'all excited. No, it's not silver. It's more like alpaca. Nickel type. Nickel silver. But very pretty piece regardless and then that one. Okay. There's your bag. It's not full yet. I always, always slip some pieces in there, too, so I want to make sure that you get your value. Okay. I don't... I think these have matches. I think this is a lot of jewelry. <laughs> oh boy. We're going to get start out easy. These are beautiful. Now if those had been four petaled, um, they may be cherry blossoms. But if they'd been only four petals, they would have reminded me of dogwood. And, then, and aren't those beautiful? Very thin shell. We'll do those for three. I haven't even really gone through these good. I just threw them together because they were matches. We have these lever backs 
We'll do those for two. These are beautiful. Look at those. There's the backs. We'll do these for two dollars. Mm, fancy animal print. And they have felt backing on the back. Very nicely made. And there's the backs. I will have backs on these. Two dollars. Sugar fix. I love these sugar fix. Pink ones. We're going to do those for three. They're in excellent condition. Sorry. Not sorry. Just tease. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay. Just playing. Hope everybody's having a great day. I don't know if I told you how to order. If you want to order anything under this video, uh, just leave a comment under the comment section of this video with a timestamp, description, and price. If you're new to the channel and you haven't um, registered with my channel, you'll need to email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com. Let me give you that information. Take a screenshot of that. I need three things. Your name, full name, first and last your shipping address, and your um, YouTube name. Oh, I had to sneeze. Sorry. And uh, we ship only in the U.S. Shipping's flat rate of $5. If it's under a pound, over a pound is eight thirty and up. We ship at the uh, first of the month for prior month's orders. So orders in July will be uh, invoiced August 1st. There, that's a quick spell. These are $2. Very nice. Look brand new. Here's some hoops. Triple. Uh, Gunmetal color. Do those for two. Here's some more hoops. I love these. Now, these are not acrylic. They are metal or something you hear that they have some weight to them they're very pretty color we'll do those for two trying to get the bigger ones out of the way oh these are pretty little crystals on the bottom Look like a golden donut. Instead of a golden egg, you got a golden donut, baby. Hammered look. These are very nice. We'll do these for three. You know what? I don't know that all these have matches. Cause I, I'm waiting. Here's the match. Teach, love, and inspire. Wooden. Both sides. We'll do those for a dollar. Very nice. We have you. Do we have you? Are you hidden? Because there's so much stuff. Oh wait a minute, here's a match. This is like that mesh that uh, Whiting and Davis has always done on their purses and little compacts and love these. I love the way they flow and how the light hits them. See? And they have these wires. We'll do those for three. Okay, if I see a pair, I'm going to pick them up. We have this. 
little lacy beautiful um lilac purple color i love these we'll do those for a dollar very pretty Here's our peacock colored ones, glass beads. Very pretty beads. Aren't those gorgeous? Two dollars. Here's some more um, leather back. They have leather backing on them. Made earrings we'll do those for a dollar okay we have these clip backs anchors beautiful creamy enamel on that these are in excellent condition I don't see a mark We'll do those for two dollars. Very pretty. Here we go. Oh, wrong arm. Yeah, those aren't magnetic. Let me see. Ooh. That's where I rubbed. Right there. They rub easy, but I'm not convinced. But they're silver. Oh, quit the bubbling. No, it disappears right away. So I'm not sure what they are, but they're not magnetic, so they're good metal. And they they um are hammered. Kind of a hammered look. Nice and long. Pretty. We'll do those for two. Let me rub that thing off before I put, put my arm in it. So how is everybody doing today? I hope you're having a good day. It's a... Uh, Rain last night, but it's sunny today, and I think we're conquering the green pool issue that we've been having between the warm weather and the rains. We have been working feverishly to get the pool under control because I like to go in it every day, and I want my grandkids to be able to go in it when they come over. We have such fun together. It's good exercise for my heart, the doctor says. He says, please keep doing that. These are gorgeous. Nice hoops on these. Let me loop them and see if I see anything. Hmm. I can't tell. Look at the other one. Sometimes they have an indention where they'll have things marked. But I don't see anything. Still going to do those for three. They're gorgeous. Paisley design. Well, look what I found. A pen. A brooch. Love it. Uh, I believe that is... Hmm, not sure. I think it's a resin of some type. That's very pretty. We'll do that for three. Bet my sister would like that. Yep. Hope she sees it. She may not. I mean, you know, may not be. I don't totally know everything she likes, so. She surprises me sometimes. Very pretty. Pearl earrings in excellent condition, even the backs. Almost like a door knocker style. 
we'll do those for um, two dollars and then we're gonna do these for three little hearts excellent condition they have the original backs on them I don't see any marks they will have new backs, but sometimes when they have their original backs, I'll, I'll also put those in the bag. Three dollars. Oh, yes, we have these pearly that need cleaning. Backs, we'll do those for a dollar. They just need to be cleaned up. I haven't cleaned everything yet. But be assured they will be clean. We'll put these aside. We may do, you know, more than one. I love these. Orange shell. Pretty orange. Makes me think of the fall coming up. Uh, we'll do these for two. Very pretty. You know, what I haven't pulled out is my Christmas in July Christmas bag. We have this. We'll maybe do that on the last day. Snowflakes, chandelier type. If a kiss was a snowflake, I'd send you a blizzard. There you go. There's your blizzard. We'll do that for three. Very pretty. Oh, I think this is the other earring to that bone necklace. I think I had one earring and didn't know if I had the other. And this is the other, so I'm going to be putting that with it. No extra charge there. Uh, let's see. I love this. This is for the crafty person. Or the person who likes to doodle. Or draw. But where's the other one? Isn't that cute? We'll look for it. Sorry, I got excited. Squirrel. Where are, oh, here's a pair. These are nice. Vintage. Don't see any marks. They are very pretty, though. Silver tone. We'll do those for two. Very nice earrings. I like those. I'm just setting some aside. I'm not sure how I'm going to set them yet. Uh -oh, these. And these. Okay, this is a match. Little cherry earrings. We'll do those for three. What's the other one to this? It keeps blaring out at me. Candy cane hearts. Nope. 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 Candy cane heart hoops. Yippee. Aren't these adorable? Look at that. Love these. Got a, a little mark on the back. It's a little single stone. I don't know what that indicates. Little rhinestone there in the back. Aren't those adorable? Three dollars. Adorable. I've seen other people do these kind of videos, and I'm like, pick it up, pick it up. There's match. 
Aha! Found the other cherries. Very cute. We'll do those for three dollars. Adorable. This is what you do when you sort through them. Those are pretty. Oh, these look like they match. Oh, I found a pen. What does this one say? Shepherd Day. Bob Shepherd. 2000. 50 years. May 7th, 2000. 50 years. the back looking for marks it's not magnetic hmm kind of gives me a silver let me see Nope, not silver. It disappeared with 18 karat. Not sure what it is, but it's not magnetic. See? I'm trying to see what it is. Oh, there's a microphone. And there's something else. I can't tell. We'll do that for two and get on with it after I get this acid off. Okay, back to the earrings I was going to do. Little turquoise colored earrings. They are not stone. They are not turquoise. I don't believe they're silver. I not did not test them. We'll do those for a dollar. I so want the match to that, and if I so have the match to that, I'm keeping it. <laughs> They're hard to find. Okay. I'm frustrated now. These are beautiful for making either a pendant or earrings. And um, I'm going to put those in Carmen's Hobby Lot. Okay. Here's some enamel and gold, uh, gold tone swirl. Or scroll around the enameled pretty pretty enamel on that we'll do those for a dollar these are stone I know I have the match yes I do beautiful stone earrings like I said I haven't really looked things over but these are beautiful, and we're going to do them for three. I don't know. Is this a crown ring? A dripping ring? Don't know, but we'll do that for a dollar. It's a ring. Marcel and Marcel Maritime. We'll do that for two. And he's back. I'm doing a video, honey. Very pretty. We'll do those for a dollar. We 
do these for a dollar. These are nice. Weaver backs, we'll do those for a dollar. These are mother of pearl carved leaves. This is kind of knotted up. That's why the dango looks a little different. There we go. We'll do those for two. Very pretty. We'll do these for a dollar. Very pretty. You just need cleaning on the back. Acrylics. Very lightweight. We'll do the roses for a dollar. Pick that one up one more time. Get it away from me, please. Oh, these are pretty. Where's the other one? Here it is. Oh, I haven't tested these. I need to test these. They're gorgeous. Those are CZs. I was hoping they were diamond. Stop it. Yep, CZs. This is a beautiful pair of earrings. The um, pearls are a white luster on that. I'm not sure what kind of metals they're made out of. Let me see if they're marked anywhere. And I don't see any marks. We'll do these for three. They're gorgeous. And you go over there. Keep picking you up. This is a ring. It's uh, silver and copper and brass, I believe. It does have an opening in the back. We'll do that for two. Oh, here we go. A match. Little hearts, we'll do those for a dollar. They're acrylic. Some Christmas bow earrings. Oops. We'll do those for three. They're very pretty, very ornate. They'll have new backs on them. There we go. Little clip backs. Enameled gold tone. We'll do those for a dollar. Very nice. Okay. 
Here's some acrylic pyramid type. It's got the flesh color. We'll do those for a dollar. Oh, these are nice. I don't know if I have a match or not. Don't know. Well, look at there. Teardrop enameled. Here's the backs. We do those for a dollar. Make your own baggie of earrings. Here's some um, triangle, chevron, silver tone, two dollars. Sorry for the noise. Just me. Just Daryl's home when you hear that. In the ice bucket. Because <laughs> it's been hot outside. Aren't those pretty? Here's the backs. Do those for three. Love that blue green color. Well. Maybe should have gone through these first, huh? Let me see what if these are marked. So you know from now on if I find while I'm cleaning the jewelry that I really missed a mark, it takes your item on up the scale. I'll put a little note in there. It says, um, my miss your bliss. So you'll know to look. And I usually will put on the I'll put on the outside what it is that I didn't catch on the bag because that does happen. These would be a dollar. Very cute. Very lightweight. Because I do miss. Don't mean to, but I do. Okay, I think this is going to take me forever, so um, I'm going to keep looking, and I'll go through these and come back. Oh, here's another pair. We missing a stone. We are missing a stone. Pretty easy fix if you have the stone. And these are vintage. Pearl drop. They're going in Carmen's thing because it's missing a stone and I don't have the time to fix it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'll come back and do the rest of these. And uh, wait a minute, here's a dollar. A dollar. Those are beautiful. And they're, they're, they feel like they have some weight to them. They have little stones all the way around. It's really pretty for a dollar. So we'll end it on that. So you guys have a blessed day and uh, thank you for spending your valuable time with me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to know when we're having a new one. And oh, just a short note here. Um, if you email me what you want versus doing a comment, Emails are processed after the comments. So if you really want an item, it's highly suggested that you comment in the video. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.